family. And then we also had Tuesday Entertainment last week. So make sure y'all go check it out. It's hella laughs, hella funny time. Um, but y'all, so I got a question. So, oh, yeah, turn up. Where can they follow you at again? You know, I said it again. Um, <laughs> you can follow me at turn up, T-U-R-N-U-U-P, and Snapchat, just throw a DJ on top of that. And the reason why I said that is, um, we always support indie artists, so make sure y'all follow him and send music, and we'll play on the indie music for you, of course. Right. We got some indie music a little later in the music break. But um, so I got a question for y'all. What is something you wouldn't do for the person you are in love with or in a relationship with? Why is that uh, a sappy question? It is. God, dog. Maybe it's she's not like, a sappy you, question. On, it's she, just a real she, question. Are you in love? No. It, I mean, it I'm kind of. It does. She be all. Right. That ain't Valentine's Day yet. Right. Shit. Okay. <laughs> but say the question again for the What uh, wouldn't you do for you? the person you love? It's always some I wouldn't do anything. I'd do everything for you if I love you. Really? Okay. I'd give you the shirt off my back. I'll tell you what I wouldn't do. I'd give you my left shoe. Because I might need the right one. <laughs> I tell you what I wouldn't do. I wouldn't go to jail for you. Damn, for real? True. No. You mean to tell me we got True. twenty years on the belt and 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 I got a career coming we, up? You wouldn't. No, take listen. Over? Wait till you hear the spill of tea, and I'll tell you why. I, like then you understand why I wouldn't go to jail for you. I feel like I've heard the story too many times. Somebody goes to jail for the other person, and the other person doesn't appreciate it and does some fuck shit. True, so it's kind of like why well, mess up my life with something so permanent that could be temporary? You know True. what I'm saying? I mean, like if you think if you think your love now is temporary, how is that gonna benefit you? I'm not in love. I mean, but you speaking on a situation. Well, I just know that that's something I wouldn't do. All right, I probably wouldn't really go to jail for you, but I probably okay, like thank I, you. I probably <laughs> like you know I, I'll take a bullet in the hand and um you know like I, I'll go as far as you know to take pain for you because I love. You. So you protect them. Yeah. Okay. With my life. Oh, okay. Just as long as it's not like a dramatic ass death, like <laughs> jump in front of that van. And you can't pick and choose. I'm gonna I'm pick and choose. <laughs> Tarno, you figured it out? Um, yeah, I feel like if I have to, like, if I have to keep fighting over you with someone else, I wouldn't, I would, I would just back, I'd well, that's a good back. one. I'd yeah. just back back. What you finna say, Jim? Oh. Yeah, because I, I mean, that wasn't really the question about fighting over nobody. No, 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 I'm saying, saying what like, I you wouldn't do. You wouldn't fight like, over somebody you love? I mean, if, if, she, if she keep doing it, yeah, I'm yeah. The female is like, oh, I love you, but I, I love him too. Oh, like, yeah, I'm you like, got yeah, him, man. Yeah, 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 I feel you. I feel you on that. Nah. All right, so that's a good one too. Oh, right. shit. So stay tuned. We got special guests Laura Divine and Janet Morero coming through, mm. and um, we also have hot topics. Find out. Who might be going to jail? Mm -hmm. Always. Someone's always going to jail. No, jail, but this time it's like, Sue, no, but this time it's something like a little bit crazy. And find out, um, actually, who has, you know, you heard about the KKK situation? I did. You got the list. Oh, that was I real? Uh, yes. Uh, All right. I seen it on Instagram. I didn't know if it was real or not. All right, y'all. We're about to get into the music break and make sure y'all stay tuned. Faded Radio, Highly Evening Radio. Nah. What's up? But anyway, what's up, y'all? It's your favorite homegirl, Chief. And you're listening to Fatal Radio, only on Highly Unique Radio, every Tuesday, 7 to 9. And make sure y'all lock this number in, 404-334-0380. Again, that number is... Oh, I got hype. 404-334-0380. And make sure y'all call in, especially for our crazy spill the tea, and answer our question of the day. What is something you wouldn't do for the person you are in a relationship with? Yeah. So, of course, we got these hot topics. Um, t um, you know, TLC, uh, early in January, so... They came out with this um, Kickstarter fund, right, for yeah. their album. <laughs> I guess they really never got their coins from Pebble. Damn. You, you seen that movie? Nah. You didn't see it? I didn't like the production and how it was set up. You're so bougie. Nah, I ain't about being bougie. I just like good production. If you got bad production, I won't watch it. Whatever. Anyway, so early in January, they pretty much had a Kickstarter fund, and they were asking their fans to donate money to start their album, right? So people like Katy Perry donated five grand. Other celebrities have donated. You know, people, um, I guess fans all around the world, to the right. point where they raised forty three hundred thousand dollars, and they only needed one hundred and fifty. Right. So, have you heard any songs from TLC? No, not since. Um, <laughs> I'm never gonna look out for TLC. <laughs> but you would know if they came out with something, it would, would. be a big to do. Well, yeah, I mean, it would it be would, a big it to would. do. It's liquid. Yeah, like I mean, they would promote the hell out of it. TLC. It's still a group, though. I mean, oh, that was fucked That was. That that was, was fucked up. Up. Rest in peace, left eye. Yeah. But anyway, um, so yeah, so pretty much. There's a hashtag that says TLC is going to jail party oh. for all the folks <laughs> because people gave them money and they, they haven't seen no back. product. So we'll yeah. make sure we um, keep y'all updated with that story. And let's hopefully they'll come out with a surprise album. Maybe they're going to do a Beyonce and just drop it, you know? Nah, it's, nobody it's can not do it. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, it'll sell. They still got a big fan base, though. 
Yeah, like they have, you know, that's before there. your time. Barely. That's before your time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, DMX, of course, he's he's had his fair share of, of problems with you know his um child support right. and going to jail. So, but he swears up and down that this time around he is not to be blamed. He said that um pretty much he given the responsibility to handle his monthly payments to his manager, and as far as he knew, everything was handled. So pretty much when it um. He had an arrest recently, and his ex-wife, Tashira Simmons, she wanted 10 k a month. Damn. So they came and arrested him, and he was pretty much saying that he thought that his manager, um, you know, had handled everything. So now he's due back in court um, November 18th, so we'll see what the outcome of that is. Yeah, child support. Damn, they still make that kind of money? That's what I'm saying, but apparently he's coming out with a new album. But, I mean, really, you have no choice. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Child support. Hey, he's, but he moved back to my hometown. Shout out to South Carolina. Uh, <laughs> nah, Shout nah. out to all those roads with no lights. Nah, nah. First of all, we have lights. And those nigga. endless deer that just dart out and shit. <laughs> just because you ain't bout it, bout it. Nigga. Boston, <laughs> we have Boston, Springfield. We got plenty what of lights. What is Boston? <laughs> lights, streets, Family Guy. <laughs> shit. <laughs> like Ted, motherfucker. That's what y'all know for they're talking Ted. They're all, they're all the same person. Though. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hey, but listen, so. Do y'all know who y'all voting for in 2016? Hell no. I don't either. Like, this one is... I think I'm going to have to sit out on this one. This nah, you can't <laughs> sit out because your, your opinion matters. Oh, Go yeah. vote, people. But I don't like either one of them. I don't I like mean, none of the you still got to vote. Go vote. I'm not going to vote for something I don't want to enlist. Go listen. vote, people. We're promoting people to vote. Go vote. Because your, your voice needs to be heard. Go vote. So what are you going to do? Not vote. She's gonna, vote. She's she gonna, she gonna come with me when I go vote. I'm voting yeah, for I'm gonna snap sit there. I'm going to sit there. Whoever Snapchat going for, I'm going for whoever they going for. All right, so y'all, um, I don't know if y'all ever heard of these um, hacktivists. They're a group called We Are Anonymous, and they revealed a list and posted it on social media, Twitter, of the names, phone numbers, and addresses of senators, mayors, and other officials who are secretly part of the KKK. Y'all, and this list is so long. It's, it's like, yes, yeah, people from North Carolina, mm. um, Texas, um, a lot probably, of Indiana. You know, people you support. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, if y'all want to go see that list, make sure y'all follow them on Twitter. And then also follow um, The Shade Room, too. That's where we get all the tea from. Ah. <laughs> and make sure you go vote at the end of the day. Yeah, but, you know, look at that look, list. Yeah, right? look at the list and For then real, go vote. Like, you know, no wonder, no wonder all these killings and stuff is propaganda. I'm telling y'all there's some crooks in the office. but It's, it's set up. Uh, it is set up, so we got to be careful. But, um, you know what? You, you heard what Ireland is doing? Yeah, I think it's kind of stupid. You think so? Yeah. I know your ass. I don't know. I, I, don't know I'm, I mean, I'm not for the other two drugs, but... Okay, so pretty much Ireland, they're giving the people what they want by decriminalizing marijuana, heroin, and cocaine. Pause. Heroin and cocaine. Right. And so the reason why they are doing this is because they feel like it's going to cut back down on the addiction. Do you... If what? it's legal. It's, it's going to be there. It's going to be more accessible. True. Right. So my thing is, are you okay with having a bunch of junkies running around? Right. I don't think that's a good look. Now, marijuana, I, that's that's a different thing. I feel like I feel like a lot of people are going to stop doing it because, you know, some people just do shit to, like, just say, oh, shit, I'm doing something bad. Like, it's going to be a lot of people... That yeah, but there's a difference between social. doing a drug that you could do one time and get hooked for the rest of your life, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to doing some, some shit for recreation. Like, you could be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to do coke on Saturday. Like, that's not, you know... Well, I wouldn't know. So yeah, that's not, I mean, that's not clutch. <laughs> that's so stupid. I don't know. So, I mean, I, I'm all for the, the marijuana, but I just yeah. feel like, then, you know, what is that? I say no to drugs, guys. <laughs> yes to plants. All yeah, right. yes to herbs. Marijuana is herb, yes guys. You know. So, the source was Complex Magazine. Make sure y'all um, look that up, too. And, um, all right, so we about to get into another music break. Make sure y'all stay tuned. We got Lord Divine. And Janet Marrero in the building. So you got to turn on what music you got for us today? Um, we so all right, y'all, we got to get into these jobs and castings real quick. I know Jim, you got some castings for people yeah. living for the acting world. Yeah, you want to live a different life. Um, turn right now. The movie is casting real dancers. Email metrowealthfilms at gmail dot com. Uh, we're looking for dancers or actors that can portray being a dancer. Um, you're gonna be working in a scene alongside German. Pop. I mean, shoot, you acting, you got to play the role. But I mean, um, it's going to be in a scene alongside German pop star Ebru for a rehearsal scene this Sunday on the 8th, uh, 18 to 30, any race, male or female, Atlanta, Georgia, you have to be here. Headshots and resume to email metrowealthfilms at gmail.com. 
uh, a holiday film that they're actually shooting out here. Uh, Marinella Hume casting is doing the casting clearly. Uh, Wednesday for tomorrow, all ethnicities. Um, the call time is going to be sent to you if you get picked. So if you get a random email, you just got to go with it. Um, but they're seeking a few arena fans with cast members, just a few, not a big scene. Um, they need professional background actors, and ideally they need people with new faces who haven't worked on this film. Uh, and the subject line, make sure you put your sex, male or female, your race, and put arena. Uh, example, female, Caucasian, arena, so it'll be F slash C slash arena. You must be 18 and older, and uh, you must not have worked on the film. Send an email to mhcholiday at gmail.com. And uh, Backgrounds Artist Casting Atlanta is looking for people for Vampire Diaries. So it's for tomorrow, ideally in Decatur. Um, it's probably going to be a minimum of six to eight hours. They're expecting an afternoon, evening call. It's upscale restaurant patrons. Basically, you're going to look like you're sitting in a restaurant and you're doing stuff that people do at a restaurant. So pull your acting skills up and, you know, enjoy sitting at a restaurant not doing anything. Uh, ages 18. Uh, male and female open ethnicity. Um, ideally, they're looking for waitresses, so uh, 24 to 40, open ethnicity. Um, so it's an upscale winter restaurant. Ideally, you're going to want to dress with sleeves, uh, no sequences. You know, you can do blouses, skirts, dress pants, shawls, suits, sweaters, dress shoes. Where's you know, the website at? So they can uh, see all that. You can see this on the southerncastingcall.com. That's where I get all my castings from. I usually get about 150 to 200 emails a day. Uh, they go as far as North Damn. Carolina, South Carolina. <laughs> um, but ideally, you want to be, you know, somewhere close to where the, you know, the casting is for. Like, I mean, if I get one for North Carolina, if I can get out there, then ideally that's where I shoot for. But if not, um, I'm probably going to stick to the Atlanta area. But again, like I tell you, uh, they're going to ask you for pictures. Um, make sure you see, send three pictures, one body up, one chest up, and a headshot. Uh, wait, one full body, one uh, chest up, and one headshot. There you go. And make sure they're accurate. No glasses and no other people in your pictures. Well, that was just stupid. Why would you have other people in your picture? I mean, some people with babies are like, oh, this is this shows my smile off, you know, but you have your baby in your arms <laughs> and some shit like that. <laughs> then you already failed. Like, that is just, that's just common sense. But I don't know, maybe teachers are... People do a lot of stupid stuff, believe it or not. True, true, true. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not stupid. It's just different. Different than how you do it. We think it's stupid. Well, I don't know. If it's different, it's stupid. <laughs> but um, if, for those of you who are looking for a job for the holidays, UPS, they're looking for a part-time package center supervisor. And that is located in Atlanta, Georgia. And this just was uploaded eight hours ago on Indeed.com. So make sure y'all look that up. Um, Cobb County government is looking for a criminal intelligence analyst. And that's making sixteen to twenty six dollars an hour. So that is CIA. Right? She, didn't, she didn't catch that. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is located in Marietta, Georgia. So for all those who are trying to make that trip up there, that's a good. That's and the CIA in Marietta. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, dang, I don't think they should tell the location. I thought yeah, it was like top secret. It's cool. It's not a secret anymore. CIA is in Marietta, guys. I don't know, but anyway, all right. So Lexus, Nexus, and Duluth. They're looking for a records coordinator, and that was uploaded five hours ago. So make sure y'all definitely hop on that. And um, Esquire Solutions, they're looking for a receptionist. And pretty much all you have to do is answer high-volume calls and secretary. And work. file stuff. Yeah. Right. And then um, last but not least, Brinks Incorporated is looking for a driver messenger. Um, so pretty much, basically, you're going to be... Driving. Yeah. And you need to have a license. Yeah. And a good resume. Right. And probably experience. And you, even if you don't have experience, still try. Like, yeah. you never know. Just go you out blow them away in the interview. Yeah, because you're small or something. Um, if it's not, then oh, don't Your smile. resume. Yeah. All right, so I have a friend. Um, she comes into my workplace all the time. Of course, we have to give customer service. So we'd be talking, and she um, she's in this dilemma. And the reason why I asked that question, and which was the question of the day, is what wouldn't you do for somebody you love, right. is because she inspired me. She was just like, um, pretty much, that she's been with her guy for a while. And um, he has a drinking problem, right? Mm. Yeah, to a point where, like, you know, he can't just have one drink. He'll just end up getting plastered every single time. Every day? Well, every time he drinks. Damn. So she's already had, you know, confronted him about it. But then it got worse when he actually already had two DUIs, right? Yeah. So then they're driving into his neighborhood. 
and he crashes into like some post or some metal thing or whatever, yeah. right? So they both were drinking, but if he had a third DUI, then he would have gone to prison. Right. So she doesn't have a record, so she pretty much said that she took the rap for it and said that she was driving, so she went to jail. And you know what comes with when you have a DUI? You gotta take classes. You gotta pay this high insurance. A lot of times yeah. the insurance will drop you, like it'll always on your record. Like Damn. it's a lot with drunk driving. And then so she took the rap. And so to a point where she was just like, you know, after she got out and she has to deal with all these legal fees and stuff like that, she told him that he needs to stop drinking. And that was you know Did that he was stop drinking? Up. No. To a point where it's like she said, um, she said two nights ago he peed on her when <laughs> Y'all should see my face. <laughs> no, like, seriously, wow. she said that every time he he has a drinking problem so much that he can't use get up and go to the bathroom when he's asleep and he's drunk. Damn. So he pees on me. She, she was like, "Yeah, he's killing me like thirty Jeez. times." I was saying. Was, first of all, I looked at her and I was no, like, "What Ew. the fuck?" Right? Hey, I'm looking at you like it happened to you. That's crazy. Right. But I say like in regards to the subject earlier. I mean, she 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 really loved a man, so I guess she gonna stick with it. That's not a good thing that. You know, dude, if it was me in that situation, I wouldn't have took the rap because, I, I mean, you done got in trouble twice. You know, I already said something about it, you know, but um, I, I guess she in the right place with her heart, but she need to let that go. But the thing is, her question is, should she leave him? Yes, she, she need to, yes. Yes. Need to let that go. Yes. Well, I mean, yes. ideally, because yes. she's in love, I say get help. Get help. You know, if the help don't work and he's still fucking up, then you just gonna have to walk out the door. Okay, well, question. Did, she, did she try to, uh, like, get help, like, in between, like, get him help? In between. Yeah, I mean, she she keeps telling him, you know, that she or he needs to stop drinking or whatever. But telling I, people I, I, may not yeah, be enough sometimes. Yeah. You might have to take it, like, like did action. Did she say like, okay, well, I do this, you got to go through therapy or whatever? Yeah, yeah that like, would have been. Was supposed to be a trade off, like you know, like if I do this for you, then you go get help. And you, I got you know, out of jail and you still out. drinking. I'm I'm. It ain't gonna work. Right. Off and so rip. off rip. Yeah, like I'm sorry. Not. Tell her, tell her, tell her, let it go. And I, first of all, I was like, girl, you good as gold because the first time a nigga pisses on me, like, that's it, that's it, like, it's over. But if that's somebody you love, that's like. No, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I, mean, I am 23 years old. Oh, yeah, you. Last again? Her name is Michelle. Michelle, leave him. Point blank and simple. All right, girl, you heard it from us. Hey, make sure y'all stay tuned. We got Lord Divine coming through. Um, and then also, we got to get into another music break. Make- all right, and then we got Janet Marrera in the building. Hey. Hey, how you doing? You're so beautiful. Thank right. you. And we got Lord Divine in the building. <laughs> Speaking to the mic and tell us where we can follow you at. Oh, y'all can follow me at Lord Divine. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lord Divine 100. Instagram, Twitter is Lord Divine 100. Facebook is Lord Divine 100. I'm just Lord Divine all the way across the board. Maybe you can speak to follow me. 100 with everything. And where can right. we follow you at? Um, mine's a little bit more difficult. Um, mm-hmm. On Instagram, Janet underscore Marrero, M A R R E R O. Um, on Twitter, Janet Marrero underscore. Everything else is regular. Right Janet Marrero. Right, and y'all right. are representing 5P Records. Yep, 5P. Mm-hmm. So were y'all signed at the same time? No, actually, um, it's his label. I'm signed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so I'm kind of like the artist and the CEO kind of the same time. Right, so when did you start that? Oh, man, it's. I started this like some years ago, like basically, I came up with the idea like years ago, like, you know, it was like one of my dreams and, you know, I built it off struggle, my pain, you know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, so 5P Records stands for proper preparation for this poor performance. Okay. That's J. You know, so, so basically, I, still, I told myself, you know, I want to find other artists that are struggling, just trying to, you know, become great at what they do and they real with their music. So when I heard her, I was just like, wow, you need a female on the, on the label, so okay. here we are. So you're the first lady? Yeah, first lady. Hey, that's yeah. what's up. And you rap and sing. That's yep. a dope thing. Yep. So how did y'all link up? Where did y'all meet at? Um, my hometown, actually. He's a friend of my family. I've known him since I was like 16 years old. Okay. And it started way back then to where I was going to like, you know, when I get myself together, I'm going to come, you know, I'm going to come look at him and help you out. You know, I, I said, oh my God, it's cool. He did that, never forgot, and, you know, helped my family growing up. So it was like, it was all love, it was fam. So um, instead of just coming out here and trying to figure out, you know, who I'm going to try to get to help me out, it was like fam. So it, it made sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how I do. So. That's that's smart keeping it in the family because it's like y'all know each other. Loyalty is there because yeah. the em- entertainment business is it can get very grimy. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of sneaky shit. Oh yeah. And so both of y'all moved from. So you're from Ohio. I'm from Ohio. So tell me, what was that like growing up there? 
it was rough. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we didn't have a lot, but I'm, I'm so grateful. Shout out to my mom. Um, she's the best mom. She made the everything happen off of nothing. Like, so you know, Cleveland is rough. You know, okay. It's real rough. Yeah. You know, I grew up on the east side of Cleveland. Okay. okay. So um, you know, down the way, Garden Valley. I mean, anybody who know Cleveland know, you know, Harvard, Lee Harvard. Yeah. It's rough up there, so. You know, but shout out to my city, though. That's hey, that made you who you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, who did you listen to growing up? Well, being from Cleveland Bone, you know, that's where I get my, some of my, rap, my my quick rapping from. But um, I sing. I grew up in church. So, you know, I like gospel. But for the most part, um, I would say Lauryn Hill, Missy Elliott, TLC, Monica Brandy. Up. Like, that's really my style of singing. You know, that feel good. Mm-hmm. That soul. Yeah. You know? And what's your favorite Brandy song? Um, if you just had you ever belt it out right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here promoting your single. Uh-huh, trust me. Okay, well, tell us the concept. Well, trust me is just, it's hardcore. I would, I would like to um, describe this one of my more hardcore songs. And of course, it's me rapping. And, um... It's basically saying, you know, trust me, she wish she was me. You know, talking to a dude about him having a new girl or even mm. talking to the girl like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he moved on to you, but you ain't me. You know what right. I'm saying? I don't care what you could give him. I don't care what y'all did. You're not me, though. Right. You know, so that's just the type of song that it is. You know, I feel like um, a lot of girls don't feel it. You know, it's like a female song in a club like, eh, please, none of these girls are me. You know right? <laughs> So tell us where we can download and where we can listen to it at. Uh, right now, it's on iTunes, um, uh, SoundCloud, and um, yeah, on Instagram and stuff like that, and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, I, iTunes. And on my website, um, BobbyRecords.com, my personal one, JanetMorero.net. Okay. All right, y'all. Without a further ado, Janet Morero, and this is called Trust Me. Thank you. Heard you got a new chick. Oh, yeah. I also heard she ain't got nothing on me. Nope. You say you want that new shit, but you using her to get the me cause you still know you want me. Boy, you funny. I'ma play dumb though. I'ma stun on you while you playing with these dumb hoes. I'ma count this money and just hope you don't fumble. Yeah, you tried to hold me up, but I had to run though. Good wanna let you know, but I had to let you know. You tried to play me and that was unacceptable. Couldn't handle me, so I hit you with the adios. The best thing I could've did. How about a toast? He might be mad. Cause I ain't give him a last dose I ain't the type to say goodbye I just get ghost I keep it moving like I'm NASCAR racing I'm in the league cause I don't chase them I replace them Trust me, she wish she was me Mad cause I'm that bitch, oh yeah she must be Front view is on point, back view is lovely Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your hubby Right now how I'm feeling, I don't care about nothing Man, I'm higher than a knot right now I don't really know what these bitches thought right now But I'm on one, going through a lot right now, uh Trust me, she wish she was me. Trust me, she wish she was me. Jenna Morero. And that's your latest single that you're pushing? Mm-hmm. Trust me. Yeah. So, do you have any performances coming up? Um, well, we trying to work on a promo tour right now. So, I'll be going a lot of places, you know, just promoting my music, his music, everything that we got coming out. So, yeah. Okay. Have, you, have you performed different places? Uh-huh. I mean, locally, you know. That's and I'm uh, back home, you know what I'm saying? But um, we've just been building our brand and trying to come out, you know, proper. You know. So, like, where do you get, like, your... I know you said, like, the, the people you listen to, but, like, when you, what's your mindset when you rap? Because it, it comes out, like, so smooth. Thank you. But, you know, being from Cleveland, it's just, it's just natural, for real. Like, I talk about everyday stuff that I go through, stuff that I want, um, that, that I want people to to know about me you know um i want i want people to be able to relate you know so sometimes i send them just like damn you know what the girls want to hear i gotta give them something they they gonna feel you know what i mean so and then also i'm I'm influenced by like just music when i hear music play i can hear a word in the song like oh right i'm about to write something like that yeah that's more that's more yeah that's sort of how it is so do you write poetry too because i know a lot of musicians like that's kind of where it first started it is sort of when it first started, you know, um, growing up, I had to play with my words, so mm-hmm. that's how I even started rapping, because I knew I could sing, so I'm like, okay, everybody was like, Janet, you can sing, I'm just like, really, really, I can, <laughs> 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 you know, so 
Because like, growing up, you know, I didn't <laughs> ever sing. Right. You know, but sometimes, you know, it just comes out. You're in the shower or something. They're like, girl, you know you can sing. I'm just like, really? So in church, it came out like that. But my writing is what helped me become a, a rapper. Because mm-hmm. sometimes I couldn't come up with melodies. I, you know, it was just hard coming up with a song as far as singing. Hey, you know, how, how, how do I make that sound good? So I'm like, you know what, forget that saying. I'm just about to say this stuff real quick. Right, right, right. right. You know, I'm going to just flow it, like, forget it. And then I got more comfortable with just writing, 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 and, and rapping, and rapping, and rapping. And so the, the, the singing went in the background. It was always in my heart. Right. You know? right. And um, now that I'm older, you know, and now that I'm just really all over the place with yeah. the music, like in season, yeah, it's just like, it just comes natural. I, I could go from rapping to singing. You so, know, back to rapping, back to singing. So, like, in regards to writing a song, is it harder to write a rap verse, or is it harder, like, is it it's more effort to, to do a, a vocal? <laughs> to write a verse. I could do a hook real quick, okay. singing. Yeah. I could do a verse rapping real quick. It's just the verse is singing. It's yeah, hard for me a little that's bit, deep thought. But, but yeah. you know. That's what's up, though. You push yeah. it through. The little time, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's talent, yo. That's for real. Thank like, you. I really like that track. And um, over the break, I had asked you, Lord Divine, um, was it easy coming up with your name for your label, which is 5P Records, and it stands for? Pop Preparation Prevents Poor Performance. Yeah, that's G. Yes. And um, so, like, can you give us the history of it? Well, basically, um, I was in prison. So I came up with the idea because I've been through a lot of pain, you know what I'm saying, tears and struggles. So I was just like, you know, proper preparation prevents poor performance. That's like... You gotta apply that to life. Mm-hmm. You know, in order to be successful in life, you gotta be prepared. Right. right. So that's where the place where the five piece came from. And I just I ran with it. I just started building on it, building on it. And when I was incarcerated, we had like a music program in there and you know, I taught myself how to play the keyboard and okay. really just got open to the music. You know, I found something in me that I liked it to do, so I just started doing it. Mm-hmm. I just stayed at it and stayed at it. So you know, when I came home I just really just, you know, I bought everything to fruition. So it your passion. It became a passion. became a passion. And I think really, like, whatever you do, I feel like your passion brings out the best in you. Because before, like, I really found out that I really liked radio, I didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. I was just, you know, it's just a lost feeling. But when you find yourself, it's like nobody can tell you nothing. You know you the shit. You Sometimes know it takes you doing it to actually realize that. Right. You know, you might have to go out there and step outside your element to find the things that you need to find, but it does assist in the long run. Especially you two. Especially you coming from New York and you coming from Ohio down here. And I know yeah. you travel all over and y'all... Y'all really getting it. I'm like from the heart of hip hop though. Right. I need to add that in there too. I'm from the Bronx. Right. Not just New York. Like I'm from the BX. Right. You be great dancing? <laughs> I mean, years ago, <laughs> years ago I was a part of that culture. You know, I, I tapped on it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's right. it's hip hop. Hip hop ain't something you do. It's something you live. So I've been living hip hop all my life. Jeez. I've been, you know, I'm from Bronx River Projects 174. Shout out to Bronx River. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like the monument of hip hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Home of Africa, Van Bada, DJ Red Alert. Like, okay. all the late greats came from my hood. So, you know, I come from that era. So, you know what I'm saying? I can appreciate the culture. So, like, I know with that being said, I can pick up on, you believe in artist development, right? Yeah. So, like, do you think the state of hip-hop, a lot of that is kind of gone away because everybody's so quick to push out singles but not really teach these artists how to deal with, you know, not only the music side but the business side and how to carry yourself and, you know, not get in situations where you're like Bobby Smurda locked up and, you, you know what I'm saying, you, you don't, you end your career. See, it, it stems even further than that, though. Like, a lot of the younger generation, they just have no guidance. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's in the hood just wilding out, doing whatever. There's all the elders and all the big homies, they're all either locked up or dead and really didn't give them no nothing to, no to grow on, you know right. what I mean? So they just running wild, doing dumb shit, and they, excuse my language, but you know, yeah. <laughs> that's what's going on, so you know what I'm saying? So that's why the music is so tainted, because everybody's just running around, just doing whatever, they're not educating themselves. So, so, saying, the, right. so the streets is educating them. Yeah, so I mean, basically, we, they need the guidance. Yeah, that's I what's yeah. I mean, it's playing for the area, I mean, everybody loving it, but it don't got no substance. So right. I feel like guidance might help that. Right, for real. So I know you have a track for us, and it's called Exotic. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about it before we play it? Oh, man, Exotic, you know, well, first of all, I'm a storyteller, right? So I like to tell stories in my rhymes. So most of my rhymes you hear from me, I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to have a start, I'm going to have a middle, and I'm going to have an ending. 
and you're going to be able to really rock with me and understand what I'm talking right. about. I'm not going to just be all over the place like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you know how some rappers be, yo, I work hard at Home Depot. Like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're not going to get that from me. Lines. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get that. You're not going to get that from me. You're going to be like, wow. You got the end of the song. You're going to be like, okay. You know took us on a little journey. That's what's up. I felt that. That's what's up. All right, well, I'm excited to hear This is Exotic by Lord Divine. Oh, oh. Uh huh. Yeah, nigga been fly forever. Do it. Yeah. Believe well, I had this little chick who was sexy and excited Cutting in Jesse, half Porto, half Mexi 5'11, met her up in Harrow's I was looking all rugged with the army in peril But I didn't care, 500,000 from being a millionaire So I pursued her, so excited Boy here alone with it, party Y'all know the rest, exotic liquors than the sex My mom's was the first one to live So I had no other choice but to live From my women to my cars, everything's Although we didn't Bronx River much My mom's was the first one to live So I had no other choice but to live From my women to my cars, everything's Although we didn't Bronx River much When I pull up at the light And shout out to everybody tuned in Beta Radio, Highly Nick Radio Make sure you follow me at They Call Me Chief And can y'all give y'all IGs and where we can follow y'all one more time Okay, um, Jenna Marrero, J-A-N-E-T-M-A-R-R-E-R-O um, Janet underscore Marrero on Instagram and Janet Marrero underscore on Twitter. Yeah. Lord Divine, L O R D D I V I N E 100. That's my Instagram. <laughs> on my Facebook, it's Lord Divine. Um, what else? <laughs> And shout out to you, Natalie. On and that shout out to She was singing on the last song. I was, I was in my head, but um, my <laughs> name uh, on Instagram is I am Natalie Rojas. Last name spelled R O J A S. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> right, now he's on that hook, on that exotic hook. So yeah. we looking for her because she she got some stuff coming up too. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, that was so dope. Thank y'all for blessing us with real music and a real interview, y'all. Thank I you. love it when people get raw with us. Yeah. <laughs> but man, so cold affair is coming up next. Next, make sure y'all stay tuned and um, make sure y'all look out for episode eleven of the Fader Radio Show on YouTube with this interview right here. If you missed it, you want to see it live in person in action, and um. Shout out to everybody. Jim, you got something to say? Yeah, shout out to everybody trying to be great nowadays. Just stay humble and stay with it. <laughs> but uh, y'all can follow me at this guy, Jim, J-I-M-M, on everything followable. And uh, Snapchat, I'll be on there a lot. And turn up, make sure y'all can follow him on T-U-U-R-N-U-U-P. And I on Snapchat, right? you throw the DJ <laughs> Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I just yeah. had to make sure I was Just follow the man, basically. <laughs> yeah. That was a hard concept. I'm in love.